I laid a little brick for this monument, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Today, I'm building this little stand for a monument. I guess it's going to stand about this high. And it's got to be 60 inches long. And I'm measuring right here. I didn't put the footer in. 60 inches by 12 inches. They put the footer in. Now, anytime you are going to do brickwork, I know they make rollers and everything. The old timers would always make me lay it out dry. Why do you do that? Because every brick might be a little different size and rulers sometimes you make mistakes with rulers. When you lay it out dry, look at it, then you can adjust all your joints the way you want them to come out so they're all even. That's why you lay it just like tile work. You lay it out dry, you don't make a mistake. And then you know how big you want your joints. That's it. That's how big I want my joints. Now, these bricks have holes in them. The reason bricks has holes in them is because it's easier shipping. So I laid that one there. I go over here. I lay this one here. I'm not too worried about the heights. Just like that. Then get a brick here. And I get a brick here. And I line them up like that. And follow my line, just like that. I already know where those bricks are going to go. People ask me, Mike, what cement are you using? Well, you're not going to like the answer. I usually use S mortar. For a brick like this, I use Portland. Oh, you can't use Portland on brick. Well. I live in northeastern Pennsylvania. The snow will get in here. It's 25 degrees at night. And it's... Where I live in northeastern Pennsylvania, it's 25 degrees at night. During the day it's 40, so it's freeze thaw, freeze thaw, freeze thaw. And guess what happens in freeze thaw and freeze thaw? It was just lime, it all fell apart. How do I know that? I've been doing this since the 1960s. I know what lasts in my area and what doesn't. Do 
the same exact thing. Judge, you're a bricklayer. I don't even take brick jobs to tell you the truth. But they went and they got the brick. They got the stone that's going to go on top. no certain height. So I'm not worried about that. Check this out. brick any way you want, as long as it works. notice if you're watching me here see 
I got some little spaces in there. That's because the cement's a little harder. Why is the cement a little harder, Mike? Because I gotta finish this job in an hour. And I, I don't I don't if it's too soft, I'll mess it all up. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, so, like I said, I'm using a harder cement. So I got some holes in there, but I gotta I gotta finish this, point this up. So that's what I'm doing. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. The reason is it's gonna rain tomorrow morning. It's already six o'clock at night here. That means twelve hours from now it's gonna be raining. I gotta finish this thing. I'm losing my light. So I'm just gonna go over here. I have to do it stiff. I don't have a choice. I'm not gonna be done today. You gotta do it this way. Otherwise, it'd be too wet. See? It has to do it a little stiffer. I'm stretching here for the camera, but you get the idea. Some of it's good. It doesn't make a mess when it's stiffer. When it's wetter, makes more of a mess. I don't want a mess. You gotta do it stiffer. Just like sometimes you gotta pour concrete stiffer. Same thing. It's getting dark out. I'm just gonna brush it off. That's it. See, it's a little wet. That brick is uh, like a glass. See that? What are you doing like that? Don't you brush it off? Go over it again. All different sizes, they get too. Well, I came to check it out the next day, and I don't see really no dirt. A little bit there, maybe. Just wet it down like that. I get the brush and I go like that. See that? That gets, that gets rid of any of that film. So I'm happy with it. Well, the guy brought the capstone. We're going to put the capstone on. It rained the other day. I want you to look at all the dirt that kind of washed up. That's what's going to happen with this. That's why I use Portland for such a small job. If I use mortar or use lime, it wash it right out. I can't get these all up myself no more. Got a little bit of weight to it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just flip it up. Okay. Just about to make the bottom off. Okay. Makes it stick a little better. Okay, ready? Oh, yes. Perfect. That's it. That's really level? Good. Yeah. Right on. That's it. That's level. That's it. Now we just gotta Looks great. clean it up. Good enough. And I just get the slicker. Go underneath. That's it. I'm good. I'm gonna talk about that job a little bit. Uh, the guy who put the footer in, what he does is put tombstones in graveyards. So he did it the way he wanted to did it, do it. I just, he just needed someone to lay the brick. So I didn't even know that that big thing was going to be that big that they put on top of it. But in a job like that, when that's so close to the ground, 
and that brick is real hard like or like glass, I use Portland because if I don't, I'll come back in four or five years and if it's mortar or slime, it'll all start falling out of there. I know that from experience. So that's it. The old timers would always lay everything out dry. In those days, the brick had come to a full eight inches. So if you didn't lay it out dry, you didn't really know where it was going to end up. Sometimes you have to cut your pieces or you got to expand them. I still go with that old school method. So just something different. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. Until next video.